So, look, I'm going to assume that you've watched all the other parks up until now, so you know what you're getting into. Let's just jump into it, will we? B Road Trader. Ship crashes into emo knife ears. Cargo damage or lost. There goes my profits. Blast my way through the remaining Xenos. Run into slave pits. See Dark Elder crying in the corner with a saw it is clearly faking torture. Take other slaves while slave driver is distracted. Can make some money from this. When I get back to my ship, half the crew has been killed by those robo fags. Somehow I blame Commission LOL or Lady Sky for my issues. B Space Marine in a Little Who chapter. Iron Crusaders to be specific. Do mostly little jobs in the outer sectors so we don't have to deal with our batshit crazy parent chapter. Or general bureaucracy. Chapter master says we need to refuel in the nearest sector. Stop at this huge fucking war zone. Chapter master says we should probably help the Imperium. Has us land and help out. Emma pro damn it, this is going to suck. At least we have an excuse to use all our tanks, vehicles and shit. Be guard fag. Be sent with squad to fight at, somewhere. I don't even know anymore. The planet's landscape has been so drastically changed that all of the maps are useless now. But screw it. People are fighting and dying everywhere. What could a change of scenery hurt? Due to multiple deaths from unknown causes. Seriously I can't even tell whose ordinance is flying around anymore. We no longer have a sergeant or a vox hailer. We have no idea where we are. And I am somehow in charge. Fuck dot vox. Keep moving forward and try to look like I know what I am doing. Probably failing miserably I bet. Somehow end up at Necron Tomb, which is where I think we were supposed to go anyway. Besides it's not like it could be any more awful than anywhere else, right? Immediately eat my own words, as I walk in to see a bunch of orcs, nids, crons, and impero knows what else fighting some reddish space mar. Oh shit it's those bird bastards. Oh throne is that a cyclonic torpedo. Bolter bitches with the weird scarves are also there, driving their oppressor and screaming like madwomen. Probably drunk as hell. Their road rage manages to knock something into one of the boss crons, which makes all the others fuck off. Consider just turning around right now. They haven't even noticed us. After all we have a perfectly good reason for not making it here. And it's not like it would count as retreating anymore. Just finding a less retarded battle. But there probably isn't a snowball's chance in the warp of getting out of the bomb's range on foot. Might as well help the bolter bitches and magpies and hope they'll give us a ride out afterwards. Tell every make sure to turn the safety off before firing. Here we go again. Vox clip. B warp be made up of emotions and shit. Ton of crap going down right here. I feel myself overtaking me. Warp. Can't hold it anymore. Be ripped open over planet. Same planet from the future emerges. We twin planet now. Be man of iron. 15k years trapped under the fat ass of Necron monolith. Some kind of a cunt roots all Necrons with a blunt object to the face. There must be some secret to how she did it. All scans show it's just some shitty core cracker. Why the fuck did Necrons leave? Use all my phallic robots to claim the object codename blunt object. Establish triple trench perimeter around it. I must know. Be elder. Fuck this shit. We do not need to be loosing this many elder to this shit. Get the word the Necros got BTFO. Thank god we're out. We'll have to leave the prisoners behind. It's their fucking fault their elder vessels got rammed by fucking Monge. Fuck off into space. Wait. The fucking Tyranids are following us. Fucking sickers. Fucking farseers. Fucking wish I was a Dark Order.webway pick. Be orcs. This is zogging great. There's a whole other planet even of fighting. Those big bug things are leaving to eat the space elves. Oh no you zoggin don't. We're getting your teeth. Be me. Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Have most of my forces meeting at the holy site upon which the Sororitas landed to cleanse this world. Moving there slowly with my main host. Men and women who were mere months ago average imperial citizens have been transformed into holy warriors. Our vehicles, cobbled together without the guidance of the Mechanicus hold strong by the will of the Emperor. Faith beats tech heresy. Gospel. I march with my flock however, passing on the wisdom I've collected in my year and a half as a bishop of the Ekelshiaki. The Emperor has smiled upon my crusade. What was once a nice world has now warmed considerably as a sign of the Emperor's favor. I am truly fulfilling my destiny. Aquila birthmark. PNG. We find our path forward blocked by vicious tyrannids fighting against the Emperor's guardsmen. I order my men to fire, marching forward with my most fervent followers to cleanse the Xeno with holy fire. 
we managed to flank the Xenos, who seemed close to overwhelming the guard. Most of the guardsmen had already been forced to abandon their lasguns and engage the Xenos with chain swords. Those brave fools. If, if I had not been here to extend the Emperor's blessing, they surely would have died fighting. The battle is a brutal one, but we ultimately prevail. When the last of the Tyranids has fallen, I move amongst the injured but victorious guardsmen, extolling the virtues of my crusade. The guardsmen all respond in unison, even the most injured amongst them raising their chain swords in salute invigorated by the Emperor's blessing. Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! <laughs> Wait what? Dot heresy. The raised chain swords around me rev to life. I, I think I fucked up. He can't die now. Be first inquisitor. Jumping from ship to ship to avoid spacing. Sausage fest. All of them. No pussy anywhere. Carolus tried to exterminatus the planet and lost. Fucking lost. The cyclonic torpedo. The nids have shown up. Numerous starts chapters. Lord inquisitor has representatives present. The oceans have evaporated to make more battlefields. This is too much. With the starts and an ally in the field they don't me. Captain. Prepare to make war. Here whirring. Here we go. Voxcast. Ship shutters. Nothing. Still in real space. We have no warp drive. How the fuck can we? Check a starts roster. Oh no no no. Blood ravens. They took our fucking warp drive. The fucking blood ravens fucking took our fucking warp drive. Fuck. Some guardsman scrub from planet side has requested a beating with me. Give me one reason not to execute this bitch. He's got a prisoner for me. Dark Elder. Commend him. Don't wanna seem ungrateful and if I'm stuck here. Comma I mean. Pussy is pussy. Right? Agonizing torture of king can't be much worse than this hell. Is this how radical inquisitors happen? Thought process cut short. Spontaneous warp tear. Reinforcements? No. It's a future duplicate of the planet. There are now two of these massive fuck ups blighting the galaxy. Canonus Lydia commanding Imperial forces on future Shitworld. She'd be hot if she weren't so scarred. All the right curves in all fair right places. Maybe her younger self is hot. Fuck it, I'm going planet side to my timeline's cold shoulder to find out. Not sure if I wanna know what future me is up to. B brother Dustbunny of the Blood Ravens. Have no idea where my sorcerer went, or why I am now being corralled by loyalists but don't care to argue. See my new brother's manhandling an entire warp drive and a cyclonic torpedo onto the ship, along with a bunch of other crap. Tseemj starts speaking in my head. First time in 10k years that's happened. Hey you, I need you for something. Or maybe I don't. Who knows? I'm pretty sure I do know, though I can't be certain. Or maybe I don't. Or maybe I do. But I am certain. This goes on for a while. I think on average I need you to steal that warp drive and that torpedo. I have a plan. Go do what he says I guess. Though Etos Rawkears knows why and how I'll do it. The face when some heretic Mathefica talks shit about your fabulous scarf. Be me. Adeptus Arbides Judge Fred. Newest guy posted at the station block. It's been I don't know how long since this clusterfuck started. Planetary martial law fist has kept us hunkered up in the hive station while the IG put the martial in martial law. Every week it's the same questions, and the same answers. What about the Xenos? Not our jurisdiction. What about the cultists? Let the church deal with it. What about the roving bands of holy arsonists? Technically the good guys. What about the looting by the red space marines? As if the emperors most blessed are capable of sin. This shit is whack at a planetary scale. Kind of glad to be in the station instead of out there. Even if the station is on fire. But it's always kind of been on fire. However our coffee and donuts are running low. And I miss opening fully automatic fire into crowds protesting over starch rations. Look at Voxpad at the daily Krimida scanner. See on Vox feed a repressor Tokyo drifting through no less than 6 different factions. Lawfist sees us as well. His eyes bulge almost as much as his justice abana. We all match his gaze at these scarf clad bolter bitches rolling around at the speed of sound. He reaches for his pistol and helmet. That's a moving violation. <laughs> Be sister Therese. Be in field hospital after the jetpack crash and Xenos incident. Being a seraphim is rough. Have to listen to all the other sisters in her talking. Holy fucking shit what brown noses. Arguing over whether the canoners or her fucking chauffeur are cooler. At least they're not pissing themselves over sister Charlotte's cape. No one gives a shit about your ermine cape you fucking dominion cunt. No one cares about your melter. No one cares about all the high ranking men you apparently fucked. 
Even sister Olga is more useful than you, she can multi-melter. Also for fuck's sake Charlotte stop telling everyone I am a lesbian for Xenos. Okay first part is true but not for Xenos. All these girls are whispering it about me. Fuck you all, I know what sort of shit goes on in Scholar. Sister Hospitaller is saying I might need to lose the hand, even the forearm. Need to get the Mechanicus in here. Have had enough. Fucking just ask her if I'll be able to finger school girls faster with this hand. Ask her if it will let me slap Sister Charlotte harder. Ask her if it will play the fucking Emperor's Zimnal when I flip Sister Charlotte the bird. Yeah you heard me bitch. It better do all that or I will shove this flamer pistol so far up your ass your breath fire. Fuck. The Explorator Margos. Spend last 10 minutes running from some crazy necron yelling about creepy stalkers and how we need to get off his lawn and stop bothering him. Then silence. Necrons disappear. Finally notice planet is basically on fire. Even with the bloody magpies around. I've still managed to obtain impressive pile of loot. Time to go. Just one more shiny dot jpg. Crack last vault. See lots of architech energy casket things. They're opening. All of them. Vault starting to fill with unimaginable energy. Realize something very bad about to happen. Activate protocol get the fuck out. Transmit new orders to all surviving forces. Come here. Kill these. Maybe they'll buy enough time to get away. Commit bodyguards to fight. Run like hell. See battle sisters while running like a rat. Note one of them has a fabulous scarf. Be a high lord of terror. Ask my pals what the fuss is all about. Is given report about an important ice planet. Be confused for a second. Then read the list of Xeno forces cited in the system. Read list of Imperial forces that were diverted in a system that isn't worth a damn. An important ice world in an important system is not an ice world anymore. Read that there's some warp fuckery going on. Now there's two planets. Ask if this is our fault somehow. It's not. Good. We all agree to send some more million guardsmen. Gets back to make stupid laws. Be commissar again. For once the things weren't looking so shitty since the forces of that bishop fag are currently engaged with a bunch of corn faggots. Not my problem dot voxcut. Though the moment when I get that news the fucking piskers start having an autistic fit. They keep shouting the warp is bringing the future to us. What the face. Then out of nowhere some fuck massive warp rift appears and out of it pop another planet which seems to be an even worse version of the current planet we are on. Some faggots on this new planet demand a video vox message with us. Say fuck it, shit can't get worse by this point. The moment the video opens I am greeted by some guy wearing a commissar coat over a set of blue, red, white armor with a fully sealed helmet with three white imperial aquila symbols on it. Guy even has my LAS revolvers. How the fuck did he get those? I have the only copy due to them being cursed. My face when I realize that the guy I am talking to is just a future version of me. My face when everybody has been fighting in this system for so long we fucked up real space and caused another version of some of the shittiest planets to pop out. MT face when I realize there are two cannoners running around burning everything. Be me. One of the last survivor of the original 2 million guardsmen. During transport in dropships I tried sleep but some asshole almost shot my head with his lysergon. Luckily for me he had safety on. Pretend sleeping. LOL, enjoy pointing red light on Necrons. During arrival Commissar shoots Commander who is government son. With Emperor help survived first hour of slaughter. Almost skinned by flares but saved at last second by Catachin relief force. Retread. Spend next mouths in dirty trench. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Sister Sauritus with two red dyes throwing melter bomb into face of grey knight. I watched blood ravens saving relics from hand of confused salamators. Iversa dancing and rain of guts and gore all those moments will be lost in time. Like guardsmen in close combat. Be guard fag in tomb with magpies and sisters. Manage to help them clear the area without losing a single man. Thanks to the power of experience, determination, and true guardsman grit. Although it probably had more to do with the fact that Krons had all disappeared, than it started acting retard for some reason. And most of the orcs has started booking it for no reason. And the fact that nobody noticed us at all. Seriously we even set up a campfire to recharge our power packs and cooked dinner and not a single person noticed. Not even the sisters or marines we were helping noticed us, which is pretty damn insulting. During the battle, somehow of the marines sneak off with the bomb somewhere else. Good riddance, the farther that bomb is from us, the better. Once the smoke clears, the bolter bitches all pile out and start arguing very aggressively with each other and the marines. Try to get their attention from behind cover of course. 
after narrowly avoiding a few reaction shots, although I swear the crazy eyed one was trying to hit me on purpose explained that, yes, we had been here helping them this wild time. That along those random last fire shots that narrowly missed them and hit enemies instead were in fact us. Thanks for not noticing. And that we would kindly like to request a ride literal anywhere else, preferably before the bomb, wherever it is, explodes. Marine Sergeant says that we don't be need to word about their gift as it will be out of the system soon enough. Crazy Eyes sister looks like she's a bit to strangle him. Good riddance, the farther that bomb is from us, the better. Finally some good gets interrupted by what appears to be a very important call from the way he's bobbing his head my face when he tells us that their gifted torpedo has been stolen the imperial noble life as usual vox this sister of battle with a nice cape sucked my dick though bitches love the laser eyes suddenly word is going around this planet as a copy now hahaha <laughs> enjoy kicking peasants off of the boarding ramp to my transport off this place that hot sister comes back Tell her that she can totally come and we can fuck during takeoff. Bitch fucking says she's commandeering the transport for the order of the ermine mantle what the fuck is an ermine and for me to get off of the way. Do I need to fucking laser eye a bitch? Oh fuck she ripped off my laser eye. Oh fuck she kicked me off the gangplank. Grab hold of a peasant and cause a bunch of them to fall off with me. Regret nothing dot vox. Be me. Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. I see in these final moments I let my hubris overtake me. I pray that I have accomplished my purpose, and that my weakness has not compromised the fate of mankind. My bad dot repentance. I bathe the corn worshipping guardsman in holy fire as a chainsword cuts into my shoulder. I keep pouring holy flame onto the heretics as the world goes black. Martyr moves dot gif. I awake bathed in pure bright light. My body weightless. If I still have a body at all, I am overwhelmed with joy. I have done my duty and joined the emperor after death. I am able to hear a chorus in the background as a beautiful woman's face appears over me. One of the emperor's angels shepherding me to my reward. My senses have not yet adapted to this new existence. I am unable to fully appreciate the emperor's chorus. Wait, no, that's just screaming. Oh I get it dot png. The face looking down on me is a hospital ear. Of course the emperor won't let me die. I push my body to move, looking down. I lift my robes to ensure the most important part of my body is unharmed. Aquila birthmark intact chos known. One of my arms is wrong though, it's entirely too big. Apparently with the constant warfare there are a lot of bionics laying around, and my betrothed demanded I get one. Also pretty badly burned, but I'm told that's mostly from my own flamer. Self purified jpg. My injuries are a written message from the emperor, one I understand fully. Be ever vigilant, anyone not at your side may be a heretic. Having regained my senses I look towards the hospitalier. I ask if she can do something about this. She explains that there are no other suitable bionics available and the scars may improve with time. No the scars are great dot scripture. I mean my robes. They are all covered in blood, ash, and heresy. I need to look my best when I address my flock. I embrace my betrothed a new man while the nurse handles my laundry. B sister Charlotte. Commandeer transport to replace all the ones our order lost. I am sick of this planet. Also holy shit is that this planet. But again, is it coming towards us? Hahaha. <laughs> oh wow, I just saw a whole bunch of those Xeno TAU ships just get wrecked by it. Jesus, this this is maybe nearly as big as sister Olga's ass. Okay might have to get them to land on some people, but gotta land near the field hospitals. Have to save those laundry ladies for my cloak. B sister Lydia. Okay so I guess operation tractor tow a fucking warhead is off. Can't say I'm disappointed. I could really use a drink. The Vox channels are filled with shit about a second planet and it crashing into this one. Suddenly there are arbites fucking knocking on the side of my repressor. Emperor I'm having flashbacks to being in the scholar and driving trashed. Oh god I remember having Terry sitting beside me fucking hitting on the arbites officer lady. Remember Olga throwing up in the back and fucking Charlotte freaking out. Fucking tell this puffed up Mathefica to kindly look at the fucking Armageddon coming down on us and to kindly get the fuck out of the way so I can fucking gun it to the transports. My face when I secretly hope that he starts shit so I can introduce him to the dozer blade. Be guardsman. Sergeant orders me and squadmate to bring ammo and grenades to the trench in the middle of the shit fest. Squadmat and I are ambushed by Xenosal heretics. It's difficult to tell since they showed up together. They start killing each other, my buddy and I just keep throwing grenades in the mid of the mob while dragging the damn crate away. We reach the trench, but we have no more grenades. 
Commissar executes my buddy. Asks me to go get more grenades. Another day in the guard. Frag. B sister Diana. My face when I find my servo clock turned off and I'm late to battle. Fuck you Olga. Being the fat one doesn't allow you to try to be the funny one. Cannonness crazy eyes will whip me again. Not that it actually bothers me. The purge must be finished by now. I'll just look at the reports on the data. The system is burning. JPEG. Contemplate the image of the whole world being cleansed in the purest flames. Shit. On this picture. That hem and mantle. I told you IT makes you look dumb. Gotta save her ass now. Everyone around may be my sister. Bit well. Family's family they say. Grab my heavy flamer and my hermit scarf. Run to a capsule and initiate planet fall. Fuck you Charlotte. Don't be dead please. Emperor products.gif. Mid fall. Realize I forgot my holy armor. Fuck Mondays. B brother dustbunny of the blood ravens. Scene she's still yammering in my head. Try to ignore it. Also the planet I'm on is a part to be cap out by its future self. This is actually much easier to ignore than Tsinge. 10,000 year old regrets. Spellbook. Carrying cyclone torpedo. Dragging 50 megaton warp drive. No one fucking notices. Tsinge still importing directions to take the stuff no one knows where. B sister Therese. Now have a swag ass bionic hand thanks to trading off my stash of lahos to the laundry ladies. Fuck I want my jump pack back though. Hahaha. <laughs> I remember when Olga got drunk and tried to be a seraphim. Oh fuck what's that noise? It's too early for this. Fucking transport is coming down near the hospital. But so is every fucking heretic and Xeno who hasn't already fucked off this planet. Oh wait, is that sister Olga? Is she with fucking Astartes? Is she with fucking Salamanders? Haha, <laughs> okay, if that's what they're into. Guess we're fucking out of here and the Salamanders and other Astartes will cover the landing zone. Well, better do my duty to the Emperor and make sure as many schoolgirls get to safety as possible. God did Charlotte get this thing here. Fucking trying out for promotions by showing off to crazy eyes. My fucking look at Olga fucking flirting with the salamander. Voxcast. B salamander. Notice the sister we picked up earlier seems to be in pain. So much that even a battle hardened servant of the Emperor like her is contorting in pain. Thrusting out her chest and upper legs. She's still so dedicated that she's asking us whether we need any help with anything. We'll direct her to the Apocatherium when more direct matters are in hand. Be Judge Fred. Riding his justice bike over little hills and mountains of corpses of so many species I stop counting. Judge Flanderson does a backflip off a blown out rhino. Martial Lawfus says showboating is a weak and ice cubes and restriction on coffee rations. Not that there was much left. Get to Repressor. It's flying along running over some cultists. Ride up alongside it. Flash our lights. It slows down. Law Fist looks at me. Book this one, rookie. Cruise up next to window. See absolutely pissed yet stone faces sister. Mom do you know why I pulled you over? She stares at me as I pull out my ticket pad. I start to inform her of the multiple traffic violations. She tells me to fuck off. There's a war going on. I tell her right back that the tickets are numbered. So I can't just rip it up even if I want to. She starts growling that she has to go. Mom. Unless there's an emergency then I'm going to have to ask you to. She informs me a future version of this planet is going to crash into us. I look up. By the Emperor. There's a planet that's going to crash into us. I fumble to rip out the ticket after realizing the situation. Handing it over. Without a word she grabs it with one hand and crumples it, card crusher style. You know if you just come into the courthouse and challenge it then it'll probably be dropped. She opens her hand. Also card crusher style. I inform her that littering is punishable by up to a 200 throne fine. She doesn't break angry eye contact as the repressor rumbles back to life and starts rolling away. I turn to Flanderson. His aviators and stash beaming. He nods. Yo. Did you see that sister? She was totally checking me out. Lawfist tells Flanderson making up bullshit is another 10 days in Ice Cube. Lawfist tells me I should have shock mauled the bitch for disregarding the law. Sure thing. Marshall. He looks to the time traveling planet rocketing towards us. He says we have to stop it. What? The planet? No. Future crime. Be me. Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Walk amongst my flock in my freshly laundered robes. Taking in the news and looking into the sky. I see what must be the work of the one ruinous power whose forces I haven't defeated. The Lord of Change. Find out the cyclonic torpedo has gone missing. As I survey my flock, I find out that a lot of other things have gone missing as well. 
thousands of plasma rifles have been taken by the Blood Raven Space Marines. I have noticed the danger posed by the plasma rifles when used by my troops, so I am inclined to think the Emperor's Chosen may have wanted to keep their fellow holy warriors safe. But then, I look to the new marks the Emperor has bestowed upon me. My scars are his words. Scripture. I remember his message. Anyone who is not at your side is likely a heretic. I order my followers to start boarding the Sororitas vessels. I take my most loyal and battle hardened with me along with my betrothed and some of her wedding planners. I remember what my betrothed told me about the broadcast system her mother accidentally used. The Emperor speaks through my girl. PNG. Entering into what remains of the governor's mansion, I have the wedding planners salvage what they can of the system. With my betrothed at my side, I speak to this war-torn world through the governor's broadcast system and a wide spectrum vox. Hear my words, imperial citizen, heretic, and xeno alike. The only ones amongst you who actually craved death were the nerglites I cleansed with holy fire, so all of you should head my call. I am the bishop of the emperor's great crusade, marked at birth with his aquila. The Emperor has shown me the truth. A cyclonic warhead is on this planet. It has the power to destroy us all. It has been stolen by a member of the Blood Raven Space Marines. If you attempt to flee, your future may still be consumed due to the works of the Lord of Change. Find the Blood Raven, or all of us will be consumed by Tsinich's schemes. Be angry with the Unbound. Some shithole planet has been starting to single-handedly flood the Blood Seas. Korn wants me to go there because some pissant cult spilled their blood attacking some Dumbass priest. Why couldn't I go fight on Armageddon or something? Fuck. Korn tears open the veil of reality and accidentally summons another planet from the future while doing it. Sends me through anyway. So many different skulls for the skull throne. It's wonderful. Everything went better than expected. Be canonous. Plan is totally fucked. A starts ran off with the bomb. Imperial guard being dipshits. Been attacked by Necrons. Tyranids, Orcs, Elder and our own fucking Inquisitorial troops. Have to chew the Arbites out for trying to pull over my repressor. Bitch I am the speed limit. Sister Lydia has some sick moves. Give her a purity seal. They're basically merit badges. Still looking for our fucking bomb. Fighting back to the ships. Suddenly, a beautiful golden light. An angelic figure soaring on the wings of a bird of prey. AWW Mathurfucking yes. A living son. The god emperor's divine will make manifest. Watch her smite a wraith knight with a beam of light from her holy sword. Her golden halo is blinding to the eyes of the enemies of mankind. The unfaithful turn away in fear. The emperor's holy emissary glides gently down to where the sisters are gathered. My fucking face when it's sister Bridget. So I hope you guys are enjoying this thread. It really should be called Be Sisters of Battle. They really are the closest thing to a main character for this story. Um, this is going to be the second last part of this thread now. But don't worry, the story does continue on. So it does, there's five threads in total. So be sure to check them out. I won't be uploading them as quickly as I have them in this one. Um, I'm only going to be doing like 20 minutes a week. Um, one part, once a week. So make sure you hit that wee bell icon to catch it. You know you know what the bell icon does, for God's sake. You know what I mean? You use YouTube. I'm, I'm assuming that you know what the fuck I'm on about. So just hit that. So it means you'll be able to keep up to date with the sector called Shoulder. Also, check out the Discord. There's a nice wee community going there. You might just like it. Who knows? Also, be sure to check out the links for merch. Got some nice looking t-shirt designs you guys will love. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?